A survey... A survey by the American Psychiatric Association finds that nearly a third of Americans are more stressed out this year than last holiday season. Here to comment is Rich Auntie with no kids. <laughs> to be stressed. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're feeling so good, but for a lot of people, the holidays are very stressful. Really? Yeah. Why is that? <laughs> Christmas is the most wonderful time of the year. <laughs> you think so? Yeah, cuz I ain't got no kids. <laughs> <laughs> I am loving life, Michael. Miss Veranda, stay dodging bullets. I am all about the push-off method. The push-off method? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Whenever I'm getting freaky with a dude and he even looks like he about to finish, I push his ass up off me. <laughs> like, uh-uh, not up in here. Do that mess outside. <laughs> outside? Yeah, he can't even do it inside because that's, that's risky, baby. <laughs> okay, but this time of year is stressful for people with children. You have any advice for them? Hmm. Yeah, I'd say, you know, focus on your Christmas traditions. Oh, that's good advice. Like, what are some of your traditions? Every year, I show up to my sister's house after the cooking's done, make myself a plate, use her bathroom, because I ain't stinking up mine with all that Christmas meat. <laughs> then I drive home, take me a little eucalyptus bubble bath, and rewatch my favorite Christmas movie of all time, Django Unchained. <laughs> hey, Michael, hey, Michael. Django may be unchained, but he could tie me up any day. <laughs> Your job, huh? <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't think so, Auntie. Uh, 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 don't call me that. You sound just like my sister's kids. Auntie this, Auntie that. Y'all need to call me Veranda. Just because my sister got knocked up don't mean my name changed. <laughs> well, speaking of your family, have you ever thought about hosting them for the holidays? Hell no, I ain't hosting nobody. What I look like, Ryan Seacrest? <laughs> my sister cannot come up in my house with all them damn kids. Well, how many kids does she have? Two. Just two? Yeah, and they can't stay in my guest room either. That's where my kids stay. Chanel, Gucci, Ferragamo, Smith, and Wesson. <laughs> you have a gun? Yeah, I got a gun. But shh, don't tell nobody, because I ain't got a license. Oh, damn. I'm on live TV, ain't I? <laughs> <laughs> Michael, I am cutting up today. <laughs> oh, careful, baby. I'm about to steal your dog. <laughs> okay. Welcome to Weekend Update with Colin Jokes and Veranda. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, cutting up. <laughs> so you don't let your niece and nephew visit you at all? I mean, do you at least get them gifts? Of course I do. I'm their rich auntie after all. Come on. Well, what'd you get them last Christmas? I gave one of them deodorant and the other one advice. And the advice was, use that deodorant. <laughs> <laughs> Do you even like your niece and nephew? Absolutely. Come on, now. Don't get me wrong. I love kids. You do? No, sir. <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on. For real? It's your boss, Lauren Mitchells. He said, <laughs> girl, you cutting up. You updating the weekend from now on. <laughs> okay, rich auntie with no kids, everybody. Oh, no,